Good morning, YouTube. Happy Saturday, everyone. I hope you're having a good morning so far. Today is August 14th, and today we're going to be talking about limitless, right? Comes from Psalms 78, verse 41 through 42. You guys know that some of our more meteor Verses come out of Psalms and Proverbs. So here we are again with another Psalms scripture. Uh, the morning version of Psalms is the T, P as in Paul, T as in Tom version, TPT version. And the evening version is the NASB version. Nancy, Apple, Susan, Bob version. Okay. Uh, shout out to everyone who can see me in the <laughs> in the vanity mirror this morning yes she's alive yes she's real yes she reads these herself as if you can't tell by all the babbling that I do but today we're going to make it short we're going to make it sweet we're going to make it concise for you guys today all right and for myself my first time reading this as well so without further ado let's get started Psalms 78, verse 41, 41 through 42, the TPT version reads, Again and again, they limited God, preventing him from blessing them. Ooh-wee. Oh, my. Oh, my, my. It's going to be powerful. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I'm not sure if we can make this short and sweet today, but, 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 but let's try. Ooh, that first... Them first two lines is powerful. Okay, let's read it again. Again and again, they limited God, preventing him from blessing them. Continually, they turned back from him and provoked the Holy One of Israel. They forgot his great love, how he took them by his hand. And with redemption's kiss, he delivered them from their enemy. <sighs> oh, the text says, do you struggle with where you fit? Are you on a hunt to find your purpose? Do you feel like you've changed and the purpose you thought God had for you seems vastly different now it can be so confusing can't it when we think our purpose is unclear we can easily become blind to God's capacity God has no capacity oh my my <sighs> father if you don't bring this word this morning Huh? If you don't hand deliver this word this morning, Father. Let me read that last line from the last paragraph one more time. And, and then we're going to continue on, okay? Huh? I want to make sure you all can see what I see. When we think our purpose is unclear, we can easily become blind to God's capacity. OK. The last paragraph said God has no capacity. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh, my, my. Come on now. God has no capacity. We serve a God without limits. He tells us that. In him, anything is possible. You don't need to have confidence in what you can do, only what he can do. Oh, oh, oh. Only what he can accomplish through you. He is capable of absolutely anything. And his plans for you run deep. <laughs> Are y'all listening to this? Huh? Is this thing on? 
Is this microphone on? Are you there? Come on now. Come on, bread of heaven. Feed me till I want no more. Oh, y'all, let's pray for this morning. Father God, I know that I continually stray from the path that you have intended for me. I know that just like Israel, I turn my back on you time and time again. Your mercy is boundless. Lord, I am blessed to have received it. Amen. Amen. If you don't never do another thing for me again, Father, you've done more than enough. Come on, let's read this evening before I get to speaking in tongues and, and, and running through this here bedroom. Psalm 78, verse 41 through 42, the evening version and the NASB version reads again and again they tempted God and pained the Holy One of Israel. Oh God, I don't want to cause you any pain. They did not remember his power. The day when he redeemed them from the adversary. The text for the evening says, as you look back over your day, are you able to believe that God has been lovingly watching over you? Don't forget about his love like the Israelites did. His redemption has come and has changed this world. I'm sorry, his redemption has come and this changes your world. Open your heart and mind to a limitless God. Believe deep in your heart the fullness of his limitless capacity for you. Pray on that. Take steps and watch him fulfill your meaningful purpose. The prayer for the evening is, Jesus, thank you that your redemption changed everything for me. Thank you that you love me. I don't ever want to forget your great love because I want to be confident that you are always in my decisions. Question for ourselves today is, what do you feel your purpose is? I want to add to that question because self-awareness is one of the great motivators for change, right? Right? Uh, for evolution, for, for uh, growing, right? Being able to self-evaluate, right? Be honest with oneself. It's kind of what we talked about in Search My Heart, being honest about who you are and, 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 and some of the dark things that we have deep down inside of us that we've packed away, Right? So in addition to what do you feel your purpose is, I think my question for you would be, uh, and for myself, do you limit God? Do you feel as though you limit God, right? Are you still under the mindset that everything that is taking place in your life is uh, off of your own steam or lack thereof? Because someone else didn't do or because you didn't do or because you didn't make the right decision or because you didn't work hard enough or because you didn't climb high enough. I don't know. I mean, do you still think that 
um, you are somehow in control of of your own stratosphere, of your own trajectory. You think you're a part of it or you think you're in control of it, right? You know, some people don't believe that God is, is involved at all. There's some very successful people who, who are atheists who don't believe in God. Now, I'm not saying he's a part of their success story. I'm just saying... <laughs> you know uh, you wouldn't be the first person and I wouldn't be the first person to limit God but I want us to grasp a hold of what this the TPT version says because it's powerful again and again they limited God Preventing him from blessing them. Not that he was unable to do it. Not that he refused to do it. Okay. Not that he was incapable or he fell short from doing it. But the only reason that he can't do it is because me, I'm preventing him. Right? I'm preventing him from doing it. I'm preventing him from moving on my behalf. In my limitless thinking, I am sort of tying his hands, so to speak. And then there's the other thing where we, the second part of the scripture says, continually turn their back on, uh, from him. A lot of us forget about God, especially throughout our day. We go on about our business and we do things business as usual. We forget about God. We miss opportunities to share who God is, what God has done. We miss opportunities to be examples, right? No words, no words, no, no conversation needed. Just watching your actions, your actions alone don't say godliness right don't say I love God right we miss those opportunities it is in a way turning our back on God it is in a way limiting him right they forgot his great love how he took them by by his hand with redemption kiss and delivered them from their enemies Y'all know what happened with the children of Israel, don't you? Huh? The parting of the seas, the manna from heaven. Yeah. Yeah. So ungrateful. So ungrateful. It provoked God. And, and for seven more years, I believe it was, they walked around confused and befuddled. And they were right there at. Right there at the promised land. They were right there at it. But because they were so ungrateful. And it was one thing after another with them. <laughs> they got to the door. Okay. <laughs> and, he, and, he, and he confused them. Baby. And they walked around it. Around it for seven more years. Seven. Can you take seven more years? In the drought that you're in, can you take seven more years? In the financial bind that you in, you're you in, can you take seven more years in the pain that you're in? Right? Again, it's not about being cocky. It's not about being overconfident. It's not about taking on the glory for yourself. It is about acknowledging God. Whether you see him do it or not, it is about acknowledging that he is limitless. Okay. <clears throat> and that he is repeatedly over and over again throughout your entire life shown you that he loves you, protected you, covered you. 
You may not have seen it, but there there are countless people who have been struck down, struck low because they were trying to hurt you. Trying to stop you. And God had a purpose and a plan for you. I believe that. Oh, yes, I believe that. God has no capacity. We serve God without limits. He tells us that in him anything is possible. You don't need to have confidence in what you can do, only in what he can accomplish through you. Okay? If your agenda doesn't include include God, communicating with God, listening to God, okay? then it's destined to fail. It's destined at some point to stall out. <sighs> That's all I have for you guys today. Listen. Oh. I pray today that you get catch hold of this. I pray today that you catch hold of what we've talked about today about the limitlessness of God limitlessness <laughs> that's my prayer for you today that you grab hold of this thing baby huh let it get down into the marrow of your bones i pray today all throughout your day you see no limits you see limitless no limits no capacity Huh? <laughs> Everywhere you go today, I hope you see those words limitless. Huh? No capacity. Right? Without limits. Huh? <laughs> Baby, till it seals in your spirit, till it seals down in your spirit. Okay, and it straightens your back and whitens your teeth, huh? Okay, it throws some coal on your fire, some, some wood in your oven. And propels you to get up, dust yourself off, stop naysaying yourself, stop doubting yourself. Follow through, complete it. Hmm? Okay? All right now, I love you guys. I love you with the love of the Lord. This is a good word today, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. I love you with the love of the Lord. There's nothing you can do about it. You go on out there now and have a limitless day today, okay? Have, have, a, have a boundless day today. All right, all right. <laughs> Until next time, honeybees. Mwah. I'll holler.